Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're having an issue with your Windows computer and it appears to be very slow after an update. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd suggest would be to open up the Start menu, type in Services, Best match should come back with services listed right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. First, locate the background intelligent transfer service and double click on it. If service status says running, you want to stop it by selecting the stop button. You can see it's already stopped in my case, so I don't need to do that. And then once that's done, you'd select OK. And now locate the Windows Update service and double click on it. If service status again is running, you want to stop it, and then you would select apply and OK if any changes were necessary. Once that's done, you will close out of here. Open up the Start menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with Command Prompt. Right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. We're going to be clearing the Windows Update Cache. And while we could do this by going through the File Explorer window, I find this will be a little bit quicker. There's going to be two commands for this. Keep in mind there's a C followed by a colon. That C is going to be swapped out with a different drive letter if Windows is installed on a different drive. So you might have to swap that out if it doesn't run. So it could be the D, E, F drive, whatnot. If you open up File Explorer here, and you search for it, and you select this PC, you can see your local disk right here where Windows is installed. There's a little Windows icon above it. And in parentheses is the drive letter right here. So that's the drive letter I'm talking about. So you just would swap out the C with a different letter if that was applicable. So anyway, we're going to go copy the first command here and then paste it into the top bar of the command prompt window. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. And then we're going to do the second command here. So just copy that right top bar of the command prompt, edit, and then paste it in, hit enter. So once that's done, close out of here, open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot. Best results should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select additional troubleshooters, and then select Windows Update and resolve problems that prevent you from updating Windows, and select run the troubleshooter. So this should turn back on the services that may have been turned off or disabled. I don't really know what they were before for you guys, but they were set to manual. We didn't actually adjust that, but this should correct that as well, so we shouldn't have to go back into services at all. So we're just going to let this run here. And once it's done, we're going to go ahead and just select close. What's just going, click on this back button right there and try and run a Windows update and check for updates and see if that is able to resolve the problem. Hopefully it'll be able to check for updates without issue at this point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.